to build an email list for free. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel, the number one place for 9 to 5 employees and rookie online business owners. If you're keen to build an email list for free, then keep on watching. Step 1 use opt-in forms display opt-in forms when people open your website and encourage your visitors to leave their email addresses opt-in forms came in many different forms some of the most effective places you can put your opt-ins inside are models pop-ups and chatbot conversations I have built my email list through free and paid methods. For an absolutely free way, what you can do is to lure them from your social media platforms. You can either type in your Instagram story like how I did it to pull your audience, or you can create your own Facebook group. I will give a lot of values and go on live in my own Facebook group. And by the way, if you want to join, you can check out my description box down below. After the live session, I'll get them to download the worksheet to better improve whatever they have learned. And from there, I can build an email list for free. People don't like receiving emails if there are no ways they can get something from it. Because of that, you should think hard about your opt-in designs, copy and call to action buttons. Signing up for emails shouldn't feel like signing up for emails, but it should feel like signing up for an adventure. Become a shopping superstar. Sounds more exciting than subscribe to our bi-weekly newsletter about our new products, right? Here's an example of my opt-in form. There are a few ways you want to take note of. First one is you want to use words that encourage people to take action, such as claims, download, still. People are lazy to take action, so you must tell them that this free ebook, for instance, that you are giving, it's all done for you. People can just ethically steal it and use it right away. Second, not only that, you want to include a picture of a book that shows what visitors can receive as a gift for leaving their emails. Third, the call to action button is also important as it grabs the attention through its size, words, and colors that I use. Fourth, you should limit the numbers of input fields to bare minimum with just name and email. Step number two, offer gifts and freebies for leaving emails. If you want people to give you permission to add them to your email list, give them something in return. Everyone likes to receive gifts. Offer ebooks, templates, cheat sheet, coupons, discount to get more email addresses. Discounts are great opt-in gifts. You are giving away something that doesn't cost you anything until someone uses it. And when someone does use it, you will get a new customer and still make a profit. Downloadable freebies are also some of the most tempting and effective incentives. Ask for an email and give an ebook a free sample of your product or access to exclusive materials in return. You can create an ebook using Designer. I will leave a link in the description box for you to download it. One strategy I use to build my email list is to offer a lead magnet. A lead magnet is basically a freebie you offer your website visitor in exchange for their email addresses. Step 3. You can create a blog and use it to get emails and generate leads. Content marketing is one of the best ways of getting new customers. Write interesting and Google-friendly articles on your blog to generate traffic. People who visit your thematic blogs, if your blogs are relevant enough, should be more likely to become interested in your product. You should try to determine the profile of your potential readers, match it with your brand's persona. You will get newsletter subscription, new accounts created, and new addresses added in your email in no time. Let's say your blog is all about keto diet, then the lead magnet or freebies you give could be a personal keto diet grocery list all done for you. Your freebies should be relevant to your blog content. Blog readers make far better leads than random visitors. For example, you can set up a pop-up or model opt-in forms that display after 30 seconds of reading a post. Here are my three tips for you and I truly hope that these tips are helpful. Don't forget to check out these two videos that I have for you as well. Again, I appreciate you and thanks for watching all the way. I will see you in the next video.